Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Bath & Body Works video. I have two full bags of stuff here, of new stuff to go over. They just launched the Tropical Collection. It is, I think, in most stores now and they just launched it online yesterday as you guys are watching this. So there is so much new stuff. I kind of want to go over everything. I stopped in one of my stores the other day and they had it on the floor. So I got really excited and grabbed a bunch of it. Um, it is like buy three get one free right now so not the best deals but you guys know I love sharing the new collections and letting you guys know what my favorites are so let's get started okay so we have pretty much this is just body care and a couple other things I don't really have any candles in today's video but there is a ton of tropical candles as well but Bath & Body Works does a tropical collection pretty much every year and there's usually a few just returning scents and this year they do have some returning scents that are now in faceted collection I'll insert like a photo here I usually don't like the faceted collection because I don't think it's the prettiest but I do like it in this collection because it's like bright neons and I think it is gorgeous. I did not pick any of these up since they have been out years and years prior but we have returning the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I know this has banana in the name but don't be fooled there is no banana in this fragrance. It is more of just a tropical a little bit of fruity floral kind of a scent. It's not my personal favorite. I actually don't usually go for the tropical scents during the summer and spring. Um, I'm more of like a foodie kind of girl or fresh. We also have Waikiki Beach Coconut. It got a gorgeous lime green faceted packaging. Another one that always comes back. This one is super coconutty. It's very tropical. So it's not my personal favorite, but a lot of people love this one. It comes back like every single year. And we also have returning the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, which is a really nice just fruity scent. A lot of people love this one as well, so that one is returning. So those are the returning ones I did not pick up. Most of you guys are probably familiar with those. I'm really sad that Belize is not back this year. I really enjoyed that one last year, and I thought it was pretty popular, so I'm kind of surprised that it's not back, but crossing our fingers, we may see it for like semi-annual sale or something like that. So we do have yet another kind of more tropical collection that is out right now as well. I'm not sure what the name of this collection is, but there's a couple scents in this line. Well, actually three to be exact. First one is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise. This is a brand new fragrance. I had to go ahead and try this one. I feel like pineapple scents from Bath & Body Works usually do pretty well. Last year we had the Pineapple Coconut. Um, I don't know if we will be seeing this one this year, I feel like I haven't heard anything about it. Um, I was wondering if this would be similar to that. This one has notes of sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. It is a fresh pineapple, like a true pineapple scent. It's not overly sweet. It's not like a pina colada like the pineapple coconut one was last year. So it's definitely different in my opinion. But I do think it's pretty. It's like nice and light for summer. Sometimes in the summer, I just want something just very fresh and light. And I think this one is nice. I'm not obsessed with it, but I did pick it up in a few different forms. I do think it is nice for spring and summer. If you guys have like a fun spring break trip, I would take this along or just a fun tropical getaway somewhere warm. So that is the pink pineapple sunrise. Definitely you get a gorgeous like fresh pineapple. I also picked that up in the lotion. It's pretty cute. I will say the packaging here. Thought I would grab the lotion for the warmer months. I usually layer like creams and lotions anyway so usually every day I put on Vaseline lotion and then I'll just like throw this just to add some scent on top so I thought I would grab the lotion. It has fun hot pink packaging. I also thought this was really fun as well so I picked this up too. It's the Pink Pineapple Sunrise Sand and Sea Salt Body Scrub. I guess there's also also a body butter in this collection which I might need I love collecting the body butter so I might pick that one up uh, we'll see but yeah I thought that was fun I always like how these summer ones look like actual sand so cute it has coconut oil and walnut shell in the ingredients so that's the pink pineapple sunrise it's nice next up in the line we have the copper coconut sands and I only picked up the mist in this surprisingly I should have grabbed a lotion but I feel like Maybe they didn't have it in stores yet. They were a little bit limited because it wasn't fully out, but I think next week they'll have the full line. So I might just pick up a body cream um, with rewards on the website, but this is Copper Coconut Sands. Has notes of sun-kissed coconut, soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood. 
and this definitely is a new scent to my nose anyway. I would say it is a little bit reminiscent of Oahu Coconut Sunset, but I feel like Oahu Coconut is a little more fruity, um, but I like that it's similar because that's one of my favorite like tropical scents that I feel like never comes back anymore, and I love that one. It's one of my favorite coconuts because I can't do like all the coconut scents like Waikiki Beach. I mentioned earlier I'm not a fan of. I love the coconut mixed with the sandalwood in this one. I feel like it really just makes it smell more unique, more like sexy than just like wearing a regular coconut and vanilla type of scent. So this one just has more essence to it and I think it's really pretty. It's probably my favorite of the tropical scents so far. Really enjoy the copper coconut sands and I do plan to pick up a few more in that one. You guys might be super excited to see that Saltwater Breeze is in this collection, so it is out again. I was a little bit worried that we might not see it, but Bath & Body Works always likes to bring back scents. This was retired, I guess, in um, just last year. Now it's already back, just limited for the Tropical Collection, but I was really happy to see it again because I really needed a body cream. I own the Fragrance Mist already, and during SAS last year, it was impossible to find like anything left of this for 75% off, so now I'm paying basically full price for it, but I'm happy to have it in this really cute packaging. Saltwater Breeze is my favorite I would say kind of beachy scent because it's not so fruity. It's very aquatic and fresh. This has notes of fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. It is so good. I just love this one. It literally smells like salty air. You're at the beach. A little bit of like a laundry kind of scent. I've been loving those lately. But yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up if you guys like fresh aquatic scents for spring and summer. Okay, next we're going to jump to a different holiday here. So we have the Easter collection. So they have started dropping body care and also candles in store. And we have never had a full-size Easter body care yet. This is the first time. So there is only one scent. I don't know if they'll be coming out with other scents in like minis or anything like that. But we have the Happy Easter Tutti Frutti Candy. I think we have this one in a candle last year. I'm not quite sure, but I did pick this one up. Um, I didn't really examine it too closely because now I'm kind of regretting buying this and you'll see why. But the notes are sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. And in my opinion, I do think this is a repackage of champagne toast. I sprayed them side by side, at least for the mist, and they seemed pretty, pretty identical to me in my nose and maybe to you it will be different. Some people point out different things, maybe slight differences, but I think it's way too close to justify having both of them unless you just want the cute Easter packaging, but I do think this is a duplicate and I'm kind of sad. I would have liked to see something different. I think last year they had a mini that was like a, a berry, a sweet bunny berry that was a little bit more fruitier. So I would have liked to see something like that or like a marshmallow scent would have been really good for this in my opinion. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is champagne toast. Let me know your thoughts if you agree, if you disagree because I think it's too close for me and you guys know if you watched my declutter I ended up decluttering champagne toes because I'm just not wearing it that much so I did end up buying a mist and a cream I didn't really smell it in store I just kind of grabbed it and now I'm like I don't know I might bring those two back but I did want to let you guys know um, if you guys are champagne toast fans maybe you want this cute packaging and then we have this like sky looking collection I already reviewed the pastel skies like weeks ago um, I don't know that one just was at my store way earlier for some reason and pastel skies is one of my favorites in this entire like haul. It's so good. If you guys like sweet sugary scents, I think you'll really like this one. The notes are soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. I think this is so good. Mm. You guys, if you're in my scent profiles, you like sweet scents, you will like this one a lot. It has a little bit of a fruitiness to it, but I love the sugar notes in here. And then it does have that coconutty background as well, but not too much at all. It's a very light coconut in my opinion. 
this is such a good one so I picked up the body cream finally but yeah this is something I will definitely get a backup of I love the pastel skies and then also in this collection we have a scent called cloud nine this one has notes of lavender breeze morning dew drops and cozy amber so these are kind of just like lighter airy type of scents but I personally actually feel like this was pretty long lasting this body cream I thought that was pretty strong I'm not sure how I feel about this scent. I feel like it's just, it's a scent that I feel like a lot of people would like, but not love. It's very light, like a little too light, like I can almost not very really smell it. And I'm not sure what I'm getting from this. It does have freshness and it has a little bit of sweetness to it. But I don't know, I just, I probably wouldn't recommend this just because I feel like I can barely smell this on my skin. Let me know what you guys think. If you're looking for something like very light, like let's say you're sensitive to smells and you get headaches, then maybe try this, but I don't know you guys. For me, this one's a pass. I'm not picking up anything super strong, but I get a little bit of that lavender freshness in here. And I think the amber really sweetens it up, but that's the Cloud Nine. Just nothing really impressive. I don't plan on buying any more of that one. That's all the new body care I picked up, the Fresh Getaway is also in this collection too. I did review that in my last haul, but I wasn't a huge fan. It was like a sparkling kind of drink scent to me. It wasn't very fresh in my opinion, but I did pick up a couple other things here. So I finally got this candle holder, which I know it's not Valentine's Day anymore, but I really wanted this one and mine does not turn on right now because I need to put batteries in it, but it has a bunch of glitter and it does light up a little bit and the glitter moves when you have it on, but I think they ran it like on all day in stores, so there wasn't any any battery life left but I always use my coupons on these Kindle holders and this one I think is beautiful they have some fun ones too for this collection on um, the tropical collection there's a cute flamingo one which is huge and they have some pineapple ones but I, I didn't literally fall in love with any of those so I think I'm not gonna be picking up any of those candle holders and then I actually got a couple of pocket bags this is the same scent but I was so excited to see this there is a pink bubblegum hand sanitizer so I grabbed three of those I was gonna do like the I think it was it's like five for eight bucks or something like that but I just decided to get three and I just I had to smell this I'm just so excited there used to be a pink bubblegum candle which I do have still and this smells exactly like the candle it's like double bubble bubble gum if you guys know that super sweet kind of scent but it's very light but I'm just gonna have these in my car and my purse everywhere I love this so a bubble gum hand sanitizer if you guys are wanting super cute so that is it for this Bath and Body Works tropical haul I do plan on getting some candles so I will let you guys know which ones I pick up I know my favorite pink watermelon is back in stock and I am very excited about that definitely recommend that one but let me know if you guys are picking any of these things up if you have smelled them what are your thoughts what are your favorites i would love to know your opinions and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys